Remember when I told you that we'll win in the end and get our revenge on the X-Dexes that did us dirty? Well, I come bearing good news and bad news that I will reveal towards the end of the video, but I want you guys to understand this about women, so you'll see why I say we have some bad news. Women are master survivors, meaning they'll always find a way to adapt to their surroundings and circumstances and find a way to survive. This started when the first cavewoman realized she could not survive alone. So she adapted to her circumstances and found it easier to survive by relying on a caveman to protect her and give her his resources from his hunts by exchanging the one thing of value she had, which was that wet vice grip. And because women are natural followers, the rest of the cavewoman decided to do the exact same thing the first woman did by leveraging that stang to get a man to protect and provide for them. The rest is history, as they say. The same thing is happening today where even though we're going to have a rise of single women and by virtue of that, single older women, they will find some way to survive off the backs and hard work of men. See, women are good at surviving. That has been shown throughout the history of humanity where they're still here without having to fight in most wars and without doing most of the hard work of building this world. They somehow managed to survive all the BS men had to sacrifice their lives for and somehow ended up outnumbering men on the planet. Obviously, if you've caught on, they cannot survive very long without men, and if we weren't here to protect them, they would have died off a long time ago. But the fact still remains they will use men to survive by any means necessary by using our weakness against us, which is the puss. Until men get over their need to bust a nut and spread their seed, women will always be able to survive off of men's sacrifice, resources, and protection. That is the only way men can stop XXs from using them to survive going forward. Most men would have to get control of their salami, close their wallets, stop protecting XXs, and let the government take care of them. This is why the phrase women and children first exist, and that line alone tells us why they've been able to survive and adapt to the point where they outnumber us. Am I saying that's a bad thing? Not necessarily, but today is a different time, and we live in a world where we are supposed to be equal, so I think that lie needs to change to children alone and get rid of the woman part. Men no longer need to protect XXs because they have big daddy government in the system to do that. And we also don't need to provide any long-term resources anymore since they can go out there and carry home their own bread. I always suggest renting and don't buy so both of you can still get what you want without the finessing at play. Now, I say all this to let you know that women will adapt to what's happening, especially in this collapsing economy and men deciding to go their own way. If you think that women are just going to die alone and don't find a solution, then you don't understand women. Just remember that we are outnumbered by the monkey simps, hope strategists, and single lonely men that want to be with someone. Those are the main people we you up against if you're trying to make any significant change. To swing the pendulum in men's favor, we would need many more men to become RP'd and then decide to either go monk mode their own way or the free agent lifestyle. And to be honest, that will never happen, at least not in this lifetime, so don't hold your breath. Women have us by the balls due to men not having salami discipline. So trust me when I tell you that trying to make a change for men's benefit will never happen. We will die off way before XXs ever do, and that's just the sad truth. For example, if a war broke out, we would have to take the bullets and stabs for them before they ever have to hold a gun and defend themselves, and that's just how it's gonna be. Hence why I said they will always outsurvive men. Back to women adapting, even though some women are going to be alone, are you sure that will be until they die? I want you to really think hard about this one. Yes, they will be single. That's the most probable direction, but how certain are you that they'll be lonely in the future? Because if you think about it, there is a large and growing subsection of men and young men that are quote unquote single and lonely because their counterparts don't want anything to do with them. This leads us to assume that single older women will find a way to adapt and survive using what's between their legs. And by that logic and based on evidence that is present today, I come bearing bad news that many of these women will not die alone. Instead, they are going to adapt and prey on a single young men and lonely single men who cannot get the women in their age group to survive so they don't end up dying alone. You guys must understand that no matter what, there's always a man willing to look past red flags to get some stank. It doesn't matter what it is, she could have the itchy scratchy between her legs and some dudes will be thirsty enough to risk it all. This is how strong the need to bust a nut or have a companion is for men, and sadly too many men are willing to take less than just to bust a nut. So although we want women to learn their lesson, there are too many men willing to sacrifice everything they have and worked hard to attain just so they can get access to sex, and that's the bitter truth that we have to accept. However, I'll say this again. If you think that most men will wake up and decide to walk away from relationships even knowing the RP, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that will never happen. 
Even the guys who checked out of relationships will be back in one eventually, especially if they can no longer get this RP message. But for the few of you guys who are committed to staying single and dying alone, hold the line, brothers. The moment you decide to go back to the plantation, just understand that you have to sacrifice your peace, quiet, and freedom. If you're cool with that, then do what you gotta do. Gents, I have a YouTube channel I'm trying to monetize. I'll link it in the description and pinned comments so you can support me by subscribing. I only need a few more of you to subscribe, and I'll be halfway monetized. Thank you for the support, brothers, I appreciate all of you. With that said, let's talk about the good news because more and more women are projected to be single by 2030. I read an article the other day that said 45% of women in the United States will be single by 2030. Gents, it's going to happen without a doubt. It may not be 45%, but it's going to be a lot of women that will not have any men going forward. Now that doesn't mean they're not going to get piped the hell down, no, they will be doing that, and a lot of them will also be participating in polyculture without a doubt. That is already here, so I expect it to become more prevalent as time passes. But as it relates to monogamous relationships and women getting married, that's slowly eroding and going away. This means that in the future, expect to see more single older women than ever before living by themselves and with pets into their final moments. Many of these women are now divorcing their husbands at 50 and 60 and expect to come out here and get a new man. They're in for a rude awakening if they think they're going to come back on the market cesspool and skip the line at 60 with all these young and middle-aged women and get a new husband. They're done, gents. Any older woman who thinks she's going to divorce her husband and get a new man to commit to her and take care of her is the definition of delusional. Most men are not going to wife up an older ex dex with one foot in the grave. If you don't believe me, tell me in the comment section the last wedding you went to or someone you knew went to and a 50 or 60 year old woman was getting married. I'll wait. Damn near none of them are getting a ring on those wrinkled up fingers. I'm sure we'll find exceptions and some of you know an older woman who got married. But I'm confident that most of them end up single and lonely by the time the grim reaper comes for that butt. So for all the men who are watching this and you got divorce great to kingdom come and your wife is out here getting ramrodded by Chad, traveling to Jamaica to get pounded out by the Rastas and smoking out the weed, eating steak off of your dine and living it up, don't worry, the clock will strike midnight and the downfall will happen. Some of you might not get the revenge because she gets a monkey sent to marry her, and that happens sometimes, but the majority of them will take a fat L and you will get your revenge. Most older women who leave their husbands or never stop riding the CC end up single and miserable in the end. If you don't believe me, look at your extended family and the older XXs around you and tell me if most of them are still married or have a steady man in their life. Most of them don't, so just know many of you will live to see your vindictive ex-wife, bitter baby mama, or the woman that did you wrong suffer the consequences of her decisions in one way or another. However, we have to share the bad news that will get in the way of seeing the downfall of single older women, and that's the single young men that can't get any women in their age group or generation. We touched on this earlier. However, as I said, women will find a way to survive no matter what, and young men who are the incel virgins will bail them out. Think about it, we have young men who have time on their hands, energy, and earning potential for decades. That's prime real estate for older women. These women will get someone who can take care of them and their health longer than an older man that won't have the energy to do that. They'll get an energetic young man to blow out their backs, and they'll get someone who can provide for decades without relying on a retirement fund. What more could these women ask for? So we are going to see older women targeting younger men going forward, and I'm predicting that many of these young men will rescue these single older XXs from dying alone. I know it's something that we don't want to imagine, but unfortunately, older women are not going to die alone if these young men are desperate enough. And judging by the male virginity rate, the number of incels that want to be with a woman and the rest of the men that really want a relationship, I think the pendulum will swing to young women flooding poly relationships with the top tier men and older men with money, while the regular men that cannot get a woman to part her legs to save their life will go to older women to balance out the equation. So on the one hand, a lot of older women who remain delusional and think they deserve the top tier man in these streets will die alone, no questions asked. But on the other hand, older women who adapt and lower their standards will get a man to save them from loneliness. So expect that a lot of women will die alone and likewise, many women will find a man to save them in the end. It will be interesting to see how this plays out, but all I have to say to you guys is to hold the line. Do not give in to your lust and save these cring gobblers. Stay single, stay free and live this life for yourself and not for the validation of women. If you're new and like our content, subscribe, tap the bell, and then tap all, so you never miss any of our videos. 
Also, on the screen is our Season 7 RP content that you will enjoy, so click the video on the screen right now.